Hi guys, so I'm, I'm not going to usually do reviews of uh, audio products, but the reason I'm doing an, an, an exception here is that I have an electric bike uh, that I sometimes use for yeah, going to work or just visiting friends. And the problem is that uh, my normal Bose over-ear headphones will not uh, work for me because I'm wearing a bicycle helmet since I'm, I'm using an electric bike and then going quite fast. So uh, I've been trying out different types of... Uh, in-ears uh, and they don't fit me very well uh, so I started out with these which is a Chinese knockoff of the Apple Airpods uh, they are the worst in my mind because they don't fit very well there's a lot of uh, wind noise and uh, I have this constant fear of them actually falling physically out of my, uh, my ear I have also tried the original Apple product, which is, uh, in, in, in uh, regards to the, the problems I've just mentioned, pretty similar. Um, though the listening quality is, is somewhat better, you know, but they, they, they still don't fit me nicely. Then I've tried these, uh, which is uh, somewhat better, you know, because the neckband will help it from falling totally off. but it doesn't fit very well so I, I kept you, you know, having to push it back into the ear and uh, and that, the problem with that is that so when you press it into the ear the volume is quite high but then it slowly falls out of the ear and uh, then the, the volume decreases and then you run into this vicious cycle of you know do you want to increase the audio or do you, do you want to keep pushing it back uh, tried out this with uh, this sort of uh, over the ear uh, brace uh, to help it from fa again falling out, which helped, but still, you know, I had to uh, push it back into the ear, you know, ever so uh, so often to get uh, less wind noise and uh, yeah, more more music. So I pretty much have have uh, given up on that uh, until you know one of my colleagues had these lying around that uh, had come into yeah like surplus in the, in their family. So uh, I asked him if I could try them out, and this was a total game changer for me. And uh, they fit nicely in my ear, they stay in my ear, and they pretty much keep all wind noise out of my ear. So uh, this uh, is the BNO H5, uh, made in Denmark, yay! Uh, and uh, a really high-end product with uh, good uh, audio quality. So. Uh, the reason that this uh, works so well is because of the ear tips, but I'll just get back to that. So let's have a look of, at uh, what's in the package and what you get. Okay, so this is what you get in the box. Um, yeah, nice box. You get the manual and you get uh, the charger. I'll just come back to that and the earphones. You get a small bag with uh, different sizes of uh, fits of these ear uh, protectors, if you will, uh, and the foam tips. If we just talk about the chargers for a second here. Uh, so the charger is not a micro USB charger as you would normally see, but uh, a magnetic snap stand. But the problem is if you, like me, use these uh, tips here that will help me uh, prevent it from falling out of my ear you cannot actually charge it while they are on uh, because if I just show you if I take this off the way it's supposed to sit is like this uh, where it snaps into the into the charging station and that is it looks nice when you know once it's there but it's a little annoying that you need to remove these to uh, to charge it uh, Charging time is, uh, I would say, just uh, above an hour or so, and uh, uh, each charge will give you around four hours of playtime, depending on the volume, which is fair. Uh, these uh, charging points uh, here uh, has a double fun function because if you are listening to music and you snap these two together, uh, the music will stop and it sort of goes into uh, sleep mode. And that is uh, quite clever because that also makes it easier for you to have this around your neck and if you are you know, uh, stopping to talk to someone you can just snap these two together and they will sit nicely and not uh, yeah, fall off your neck. So that, that, that's clever but you know the point that you need to take these accessories off in order to charge it, not so nice. Um, 
Yeah, and you get the you get a small bag where you can have these uh, foam tips in, and they come in different sizes, so you should be able to find something that fits your ear. Okay, so if we take a look at the ear tips, so these uh, comply foam thingies pretty much behave uh, similar to ear protectors, is that you can uh, compress them and then they will slowly expand. Uh, and this is how it, uh, it will fit nice into your ear and sort of uh, shape around your ear instead of just uh, you have to press it uh, you know, firmly into the ear and, and hope you know, that it, uh, it fits and stay there. So this is a, this is a very uh, yeah, ingenious solution. So you get a much tighter fit in your ear and, and thus you know, uh, can hear the, the music much better and, and, and aren't irritated by surrounding sounds that, uh, yeah, that uh, will uh, make you need to increase the volume and then you know, either it's too loud or it's too, if it then you know, removes itself from your ear, you know, it's too low and then you have this whole evil cycle of uh, turning the volume up or trying to press it into your ear and then it's too loud. Again, not, not great, but uh, if, you, if you compare to one of these typical uh, headsets that you will find on the market, this type of uh, end product here is, is of a much lower quality uh, and will not shape the, the same way. So you can see it, is, uh, it immediately expands uh, if, I, if I compress it. But instead of buying these very expensive uh, BNO H5, you could actually just uh, buy this separately because this is not something that BNO invented. This is something that they bought and added to their product. So you can find this for just below ten dollars uh, on AliExpress, including shipping. I'll leave a link. Uh, and if you see here, it actually fits uh, nicely on uh, other. Uh, uh, products. So uh, it seems that there's some sort of standard within the industry of uh, the size of this. Uh, so uh, if you have a, a, an existing pair of, of headphones that you that you like the look of or sound of, you know this could be another option for you to to, to pursue uh, that you just buy this uh, these comply foam uh, tips and use them on your existing headphones. So there's uh, the option to download the app for the, the headset and here you have like a play control where you can skip song, pause, stuff like that. But more interesting, you can set up the sound profile that you uh, would like. And it has a couple of built-in profiles that you can select, but you also have the option to uh, create your own where you have this selector where you can move the, the control around and, and you know find the whatever suits you the best. And then you can save this uh, and you also have the option to sort and delete the, some of the existing profiles if the, you want to. Okay, so these headphones are very nice and was a game changer for me, enabled to be able to bike with a helmet on and actually still have great sound uh, and consistent sound level um, as one important factor. Uh, the headphones themselves, including these uh, foam uh, tips, are on the expensive side. They should be around uh, 120 uh, British pounds or somewhere around, somewhere around uh, 200 US dollars. Uh, and that, of course, is uh, not for everyone. But what you could try out is just buying these Comply foam uh, ear tips. Uh, and on AliExpress, including shipping, they should be below ten dollars. So, uh, and I'll leave a link. So try them out uh, if you wanna wanna see if you can use that with your existing headphones and uh, and raise the level of your listening experience uh, cheaply. So hope you can use this, guys. Uh, uh, leave a comment if you actually buy this and uh, and it works for you guys or, or not. Uh, always interesting to hear from you guys. So uh, try this out, have a great day, see you soon.